Okay, so this is going to be part two of the Cobra Stink. Um, what I did is I started off with a 26 inch piece of wire. The wire is 14 or 16 gauge jewelry wire. You're going to take your piece of cord. You're going to gut it, put your, your wire through, and you're going to singe the ends. When you singe the ends, what I did is I melted it so that it would create a really large ball and made sure that the wire was stuck to it and singed it that way. So then you're actually going to start at this point. And we are going to be doing um, Benny's um, Curling Centipede is what it's called. Um, so you're going to use 12 feet of cord per color. And you're going to have this, all this here is approximately about 20 inches as we are sitting right now. Um, and let me show you how to do it. Otherwise, I am going to put the tutorial, the picture tutorial that he has available um, on not um, the knots tutorial page. All right. So anyway, we got we started up here and started like you know you have your two pieces of cord that run all the way through the the whole back half of it, and then these are our two core ends along with our wire end. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a few of these braids so I can show you how it's done. So the cord on here on my right, I'm going to go like this. Oh, excuse me. It's a cord on my left. I'm going to take this cord, tuck it in here. So it's like that. I'm going to bring it underneath my two core and my wire. I'm going to bring it up over this one, under and through here. It's going to go across and it's going to tuck into this one, just like this. And you just go and tighten everything up. So I'll do a few passes of these. These are done, so are pretty much done. So, um, but like I said, I'll put that tutorial up so that you have it available to you. So I'll do another one here. Make your loops. Tuck this one in. Make sure our wires and our cord are lined up right. Go underneath and go over, under here, across, and back through this loop over here. I know it's kind of a mess. His his picture tutorial is a lot easier to probably follow than what I'm doing. All right. So when you are done with this, um, typically I go to about here. Um, you got to remember you're also going to stretch this out. So when you've done all your cords, you're going to just sit and pull on this until it comes stretched out as far as it can go. Now I could probably go a little bit more, but I like to leave myself a little bit of leeway because we are going to be fusing the head with the body. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to take our cord and we're going to feed it. We're going to use the, the wired cord. And we're going to feed it up through this part of the snake. So, if you have your little handy dandy tool or because you really, you can't really put a fit on this because the melted end is holding the cord here. So, and you don't want to mess with that because you don't want the cord to pop through. So it's best just to go this route. Make it a little bit in there. All right. Feed 
feed it on in there. Where'd it go? There it is. I haven't found a real a lot easier way to do this as of yet. You can go all the way up or just partially the way up. It's clearly up to you. I go all the way up because it helps hold the shape of the head when it's in full flare mode, I guess. So, I got to remember that this side of the body is going to be the part that um, is going to be the front half of the snake. So, where's that tip at here? There we go. All right, so we're going to have to pull this through. We're going to end up having to cut this and refuse the cord. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave about that much because then we're going to still continue to braid up once we have this fused together. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to fuse the core with the core. There's that side. Get them all lined up right. So we're going to fuse these two. We're going to fuse these two. So best thing I do is pinch them together. Cut them. You want to leave yourself a little space so you have some room to work with it. I'm going to melt them. And fuse them together. It doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to be put together. Because they're going to be hidden by this. Thing is, you just need to make sure that both sides are even. Okay, so let's do this side. I'm gonna move that down again, give me some leeway. And this is probably the hardest part is to make sure that they're even. I think I've just gotten really lucky the last couple of times I've done it. All right, yep, and see, I didn't do that right. So we'll have to cut it and use it again. And that'll be perfect.
Okay. All right. Look at that. All right. So now we're going to continue with this braid till we get to the top of this. I hope you can see that. It's a little awkward. I clip this this thing to like a clipboard or something because it makes things a lot easier to be messing with when it's not flopping all over the place on you. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this part up and we'll finish off the snake. So hang on. Okay, I did a few more rows here. Make sure you keep them and keep stretching them out after each one till we get to the top. I'm going to do a couple more real quick. I think I have room for one more. I like to make sure they're nice and tight right at the tip. Okay. Now at the end of this, all you're going to do is just cut it and singe it. And take your marker after it, after it if you're able to. That was the slickest idea I'd ever heard about was taking a Sharpie and got rid of the white, the white parts of the cord. So we still have this little tip to worry about here, the cord, or the, the wire. Okay, I wonder, can we, now if you need to, if you need to cut it off, go ahead and cut it off. If you can feed it up in through here some more, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try it, so that way I don't have to retry and singe it. let me no it's not all right so I guess we'll cut it and singe it okay so I cut the wire cut the cord And there's still cord sticking or wire sticking out of there. Get rid of that best I can. Well, it ain't gonna happen, so we'll tuck it in. Anyhow, all right. So there we have it. We now have our cobra snake. So I basically do is lay it flat out. Curl it around. Bend her around to where you need to. And there you have it. There's your snake. Okay. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a wonderful day.